Hello friends, welcome to Geology Concepts. This is the third video of the Mineralogy series. In this video, we will be discussing about the laws of crystallography. So what are these laws? So if we see, through the studies of uh, external forms and angular relationship between the crystal faces, some fundamental laws have been established. Now these laws govern whole of the crystallography. Now these laws are as follows. The first law, which is the law of constancy of interfacial angle. The second law is the law of rational indices. Third law is the law of axial ratio. Fourth is law of crystallographic axis. And the final fifth law, which is law of constancy of symmetry. Now these are all very simple laws. We'll get down to each one of them one by one. Let's see the first one. Law of constancy of interfacial angle. Now this law states that the interfacial angle between the faces of the crystal remains constant. But before getting into it, let's, no, let's understand what is an interfacial angle. Now, interfacial angle in general is defined as the angle between two adjacent faces of a crystal. But in crystallography, it is more precisely defined as the angle subtended between the normals drawn to the concerned faces, as you can see in this figure. Both the angles are equal, but uh, the angle between the normals is technically taken to be the interfacial angle. Now the law states that measured at the same temperature, similar angles on crystals of the same substance remain constant. That is, regardless of the size and the shape of the crystal, the interfacial angle for similar crystal remains constant. Now these angles are measured using a contact goniometer and reflecting goniometer. This is the example of a contact goniometer as you see in this figure. So this is the law of constancy of interfacial angle. The next law, which is the law of constancy of rational indices. Now, in the previous videos, I have explained what is Miller indices. Now, in this law, it states that Miller indices are always rational multiple of the parameter of the crystal phase. Now, to understand what is the parameter, look at this figure. Now, parameter is defined as the intercept made by the unit crystal, or you can say the unit cell. Now, in this case, if we take a small letter ABC plane, which is the smaller plane, as the reference plane, the intercept made by these planes can be taken as the parameters. Now the law states that for the larger plane capital ABC, OA is to O capital A can be 1 is to 2, it can be 1 is to 3 and up to infinity, but it can never be 1 is to root 2. That is, the ratio will always be a rational multiple. multiple. Okay, so this is the law. It cannot be irrational. It can go up to infinity. In multiples but can never be root 2 and root 3 so this is the law of constancy of rational indices next is the law of axial ratio now this law states that the ratio between the length of the axis of the crystal for a given substance is always constant now if you take for the cubic system the ratio of the sides of a cubic crystal will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 or a is to a is to a for a tetragonal system in case of zircon crystal a is to c will always be 1 is to 0 0.6403 and in case of rutile a is to c will always be 1 is to 0.64415 so this number this ratio will always remain constant for a given system the next law which is the law of crystallographic axis now this is an obvious law instead the position of the crystallographic axis are more or less fixed by the symmetry of the crystal which means for example if we take the galena crystal the crystallographic axis the three crystallographic axes which are of equal length mutually perpendicular and are interconvertible to each other are designated as front back axis right left axis and top bottom axis it is taken to be more or less fixed by the symmetry of the crystals okay the last law which is the law of constants of constancy of symmetry this law states that now this this law has been propounded from the x-ray studies of the crystals and it states that the symmetry in all crystals of a particular species is constant and though they may not be similar in form but the const the elements of symmetry will be constant okay for a particular species. Now if we look into the Galena crystal, you can see in this figure, Galena crystal occur as an octahedral, as in the, the figure at the top. It can occur as a dodecahedral, the figure at the bottom. It can also be in the cubic shape. But of all of these shapes will have the symmetry elements like 9 plane of symmetry, it will have 13 axis of symmetry and center of symmetry. 
So these elements of symmetry will always be constant. This is what the law states, the constants or constancy of symmetry. So these are the this, so this was the video on the laws of crystallography, and these five laws govern whole of the crystallography. So I think you enjoyed the video. Please like it, share it. Don't forget to subscribe to Geology Concepts and please mention comment do you like the initiative and do you have any suggestions for any improvement. Thank you.